So in this video, we're going to be uh, uh, going over another application of derivatives, which is at the absolute extrema and how to actually find the highest point and the lowest point of a certain function. So starting off, uh, uh, we're going to start with some theory <coughs> that allows us to actually uh, use, uh, do what we do, do what we're going to be doing uh, in the rest of this video. So the extreme value theorem says that if f, uh, if the function is continuous on a uh, closed interval a b then there is an absolute maximum on closed interval a b and an absolute minimum on closed interval a b so the minimum and maximum are either a b or c uh, where c is when f prime of c is equal to zero so that's where a critical point is found so it's saying that min a minimum maximum is usually found at a critical point and uh, part part B says that find the to find these critical points, and you have to test these points uh, and the endpoints of the interval. So it's saying that you basically have to just evaluate the basically have to evaluate the function at the critical points as well as the endpoints of the of, of the the domain. So the steps to actually uh, find the absolute extrema is first to verify that f of x is continuous on interval uh, interval a b and that's uh, an easy an easy way to just do that is just plug the endpoints and uh, a few values within that interval into f of x and if it gives you an answer that function is going to be continuous uh, 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 the second step is to find all the critical points of f of x in the interval uh, close interval a b and to find the critical points, all you have to do is just take the derivative of f of x and factor and try to find and, and find the roots. And those roots are going to be our critical points. Uh, step three is to evaluate the function at the critical points and the endpoints. So whatever roots uh, you get plus the endpoints, you evaluate the, the function at those points. And four, you identify the absolute extrema. So when you evaluate those roots and endpoints, uh, uh, evaluate those roots and endpoints, uh, you're gonna get values. You're gonna get uh, a varying amount of values. Some will be big, some will be small. The biggest value you get with will, will be the max. So I'll just write that here. So the largest value you get is the max. And the smallest value you get will be the minimum of that function. So let's actually apply this uh, these steps to a problem. <coughs> so let's do f of x. Let's say the function is 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 12x plus 5 and we're going to restrict this domain to uh, closed interval 0 4 so first first step uh, says that uh, verify f of x is continuous on this interval this uh, this function is continuous on this interval because if you draw this function out since the largest uh the leading uh, the leading power is uh, x cubed. Uh, we know the function looks something like this, where its domain is all real numbers. So it's continuous all, on all real numbers. So we can uh, we verified the first, we verified that uh, f of x is continuous. Now the second step is to find all the critical points of the function in that uh, in this interval zero four closed interval zero four. So first, let's take the derivative. So f prime of x is equal to uh, derivative of 2x cubed is just 6x, uh, 6x squared. A derivative of negative 3x squared is negative 6x. Derivative of negative 12x is negative 12. So this is our uh, derivative for the function f of x. Now we can take the critical we can find the critical points by factoring so let's factor out a six you get x squared minus x minus two 
continue factoring. And we get x minus 2 times x plus 1. And when we set these two equal to each other, set, set this equal to 0. Let's set this equal to 0. We get that x is equal, one of the critical points is x is equal to positive 2. And another one is x is equal to negative 1. <coughs> so in this case, we're going to uh, ignore this negative, this negative uh, point because this negative point is not in this domain. The domain we're looking at is from closed interval 0 to 4. So we're not going to, we're going to disregard this root and work with only uh, x is equal to 2 as well as the endpoints. So we know the endpoints are, uh, so endpoints are x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 4. And then our critical point is x is equal to, to positive 2. So those are the points we're going to be working with. So now that we've done step two, we found all the critical points uh, within that function. Now we need to evaluate the function at the critical points and the endpoints. So let's uh, actually do that. So let's first evaluate the function at the critical point. So f of two is equal to two times So when you evaluate this, the value we'll get is negative 15, negative 15. Now, evaluate f of 0, you get and notice that we're not going to be evaluating uh, in the derivative of the function, we're going to be evaluating in the, in the original function. So just remember that. So let me actually write that here. Evaluate the original function. The original function. <coughs> and over here, we get a value of 5. We get an answer of 5. And when we evaluate at, F, at the, the endpoint 4, x is equal to 4, we get... we get 37, we get positive 37. So now, now that we've done step three, we evaluated the function at the critical points and the endpoints. Now step four says that identify the absolute extrema. So we said that the largest value will be the maximum, the smallest value will, will be the minimum. So among these three, three values, I see that the smallest value here is negative 15. This is the smallest value. And the largest value here is positive 37. So in this case, the smallest value is the absolute minimum in the closed intervals 0, 4. <coughs> so for this function, uh, within this interval of uh, closed interval 0, 4, the smallest value is, uh, the absolute minimum is found at x is equal to 2. Absolute minimum at x is equal to 2. So, at x is equal to 2. So, this is our absolute minimum. Now, same thing for the maximum. Our absolute maximum here, this is going to be, the largest value is going to be termed the absolute maximum. But the, the, the absolute minimum and maximum we always refer to the, uh, the x values, not the y values. The y value just help us determine that uh, this is the largest point or the, the, the smallest point. So the absolute max is found at x is equal to 4 in 0, 4. And that is our answer.